A Cochise County neighborhood still stranded days after the monsoon swept away the only access to their homes. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Atchley. And I'm Jennifer Waddell. The neighbors have tried on their own to repair that washed out road. We first showed you the incredible images last week. Dozens of Palominas residents virtually trapped after monsoon waters annihilated a concrete wash the only way in and out. Not on your side's Corey Marshall has the story. A concrete wash in crumbles. Massive slabs shuffled around by monsoon flooding as if they were weightless. This is what it looked like six days ago after strong storms destroyed the only way in and out for residents living along South Paloma Trail, a private road, meaning it's not county responsibility. Today, residents are still stranded. If anything, the wash has gotten worse nearly a week later in this narrow little patch of concrete has held up sort of. You can see it's giving in the middle cracks and creases along the way, but this is the only way for neighbors to cross. It's risky, yes, but it's the only option right now. Neighbors quickly got to work, moving dirt with heavy equipment, hoping to stabilize the land. More storms washed away the work. Yeah, Cell phone video taken just last night shows muddy, fast moving rapids ravaging what's left. It's extremely frustrating. I mean, I'm at the point of tears. This is ridiculous. Residents set up a pseudo shuttle system. The Cochise County Sheriff's Department has told residents to take an alternate route. The new commute cuts into private ranch land and follows the border fence through NACO. What is typically a 25 minute drive into Sierra Vista now takes two hours. Residents say trash collection has been stopped, and in the case of an emergency, there's no way for crews to get in. We want it fixed. I mean, I can't afford to go 2,000 miles a month to go to work. Worried that with the next storm, this tiny cement pass will give, neighbors are asking for help. Corey Marshall, KGA 9 on your side. We want you to know that we have contacted a slew of state representatives, Governor Brewer's office, Cochise County Supervisor's office, Border Patrol. They all say they are looking into the issue, while the spokesperson for the Cochise County Administrator's office tells not on your side they do not have the legal authority to work on that road.